Snoosh the Nooch here, bringing you some more Pokemon Red Nuzlocke Randomized. Uh, as we left off last time, we were able to defeat the mighty Team Rocket. And now we push forward to try and either go after another gym, or do we just go try and get our Pokey food? First things first, we're going to have to give Officer there some liquids to quench their thirst. And I think we're going to try and go after the gym here. Oh, that's the perfect kind of matchup we won. Piece of cake. Put him to sleep and make him just dream about the possibility of actually beating our buddling here. If only he had a chance. Well, he woke up just in time to see himself faint. That is what we talk about here. What y'all send out? Okay, we're gonna go... I think we'll go with our queen. It's a male Nidoran versus the queen here. Powerhouse. Doesn't matter the power. The level that uh, he is because we take it out with no problem. Next, switch into the Aerodactyl. And from there, it's an easy knockout. Switch out our Volt and we take that with no problems. Uh, to the next, we're gonna keep going through these guys, obviously and uh, try to see what we can get at the end. I know normally at the end of this area, we're gonna see either a Hitmon Ling or a Hitmon Chan. This is gonna give us our first idea of whether or not it's gonna be a randomized Pokeball. Uh, if that's the case, then I am quite sure that the legendaries on this game, as well as, uh, uh, you know, like the uh, regular, this is what it's going to be kind of guys. Uh, Mewtwo. Obviously included. I can't remember. Uh, oh, I meant like the uh, Snorlax is in our rear, and I'm assuming that they're going to be something different. I don't know if they're each going to be something different from each other, or if they're going to be just Snorlax replaced with something. Uh, so that'll be something we have to figure out. Uh, I think I'm actually curious about that, so we'll push towards getting the flute in this episode. Easy take out, Mr. Grumpy come out, and thankfully he didn't hit himself. That performer goes down with no trouble. It's pretty actually easy. I kind of was expecting a little bit more of a tougher challenge with these guys. But I mean, even like this, Geodude versus Budling. Budling's, what is that, nine levels lower, and yet we took him on two shots because of the type advantage. I think, uh, yeah. Let's go, Creeper. Oh, that's a dangerous guy over there. Easy one hit knockout. Now we're out of the lead. Alright. So let me know in the comments what you guys have been thinking about these uh, challenges and such, and if you would have done what I've done. If you were done, do you normally tackle this gym and then go to the Pokey Flute, or do you try to go battle Sabrina during this time? I don't know if you can. I think there's a, it's a person blocking that gym right now, isn't there? All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> Aerodactyl is the pistol punching Hitmonchan. I guess he has fist at least, so that makes it a little better. And Bulbasaur is the Hitmon Lee. So then it left the question of do I end up getting a flying type, which I already have the Birdo, the flying and a rock type being the Crumpy, or do I replace Budling, who's been helping me out? And uh, I think in the end we're going to go with the Bulbasaur, seems to be the best bet. It's a solid starter, and I mean, Budling is great, but as you saw before, we lost our grass type, and that put us into a bind. <laughs> Literally because, uh, no pun intended, but that's all Elegnat knew was buying to help us out. Because, of course, uh, that's what we're going to need, so we'll make it down here easily. Heal our guys back up so we don't end up losing him with the poison. And we will bring out our newest member. 
we gotta drop off Budling first, so we'll see you later. Hopefully we won't have to bring you back out, but let's get our Kipper. Let's see what you got here. Yeah, not too bad. Level 30. It's gonna be quick to evolve them. That's a good thing. I say all we gotta do is just go level them up, what, twice? I think, uh, I think you get a Venusaur level 32. Because I think it's what a Charizard at 34 and a Blastroids at 36 if I'm not mistaken or I could be mixing those two up could have them all mixed up I don't know so we'll run back over here and try and get into the ghost tower for the first time uh, we're gonna put Kipper into second slot just to have us a backup and we're gonna bring out Mr. Grumpy since it's a ghost area and I forgot that we have to face oh inflamed what are you doing? Let's see if our rival can take us out. Inflamed Wolf, who has not started any of this stuff yet. Uh, I don't know if he will, or by the time this comes out, maybe he will have. I don't know. I know he's working on it at the current moment, so he may end up getting one out by the time this specific video comes out. We're gonna try and boost up our withdraw a little bit in stats and then we'll hit him to take him out. So that way hopefully we won't have to switch out our Mr. Grumpy and just sweep this team. And he just, <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess we're sending him. The gen to the stats. know that he has the withdraw protection already on him easy wipe out come on mr. grumpy you could do this Moltres yeah I'm not gonna get Kipper into this so far I want to get Kipper a little bit of experience because obviously you know they uh, I just realized that it being the ghost gym I mean, uh, Ghost uh, Tower, that switching them in, or switching them around, Mr. Grumpy is not going to matter, because I don't know what's inside of this tower. I know we're going to get our first encounter soon, but uh, other than that, I do not know what uh, what's going on in this tower here, so it's not even considered a ghost tower, if you don't want to call it that. But E-Wolf goes down, it's super easy to take out. Just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown up Marowak. We'll just evolve your Cubone then. That'll be easy. Silly E Wolf. You don't understand how Pokemon works. Alright, gentlemen. Is that what these ladies are going to be called? Get our first battle on the Kipper. Work on that evolution. Two hits. Okay, not too bad. Oh, I didn't mean to leave seed. Alright, well that was a waste. Yeah, it's not going to give us nearly enough, but at least it's something. Get the vine whip in there. Easy win. Didn't get a level up there, but that's okay. And our first encounter is going to be a doo duo. Try and move these great balls up towards the top and throw one. Come on, one and done. We'll go with uh, Triumph. That would have been a nice find if we would have got uh, Tauros instead of Duduo, which he's not a bad one. I just typically don't ever use him. And there's another gentleman that we are going to be facing. So, is this going to be like the kimono building inside of Gen 2, inside the ghost town? Which is ironically weird that they're both technically the ghost towns. It's easy takeout though. So far, it seems like these guys are going to be a piece of cake to knock out. don't have any more hydro pumps to hit him with but we have the water gun which would be just enough to take care of it no problems thankfully being that rock type it also helps against those punches all right i'm 
gonna go ahead and continue these fights and if i think of anything i'll let you know but other than that i will let you guys enjoy the music all right so i will catch you in just a bit
right, we're gonna see what our ghost Pokemon is. Used to be a Mirawak, but this time it is a Lickitung. I think since we've already caught someone in this tower, we can no longer catch it and it does not count as an encounter. So unfortunately, we will be knocking him out. It's just another way for uh, E Wolf to get back at us with his starter type. If I miss this opportunity to catch him and it was somebody we can catch, then that bites because I could have used his own game against him. But for now, we're getting ready to knock him out fully. And once we do, Dunzo. Just try to give the queen a little bit of experience. All right, and the well, all that script means nothing to us anymore because it is not true. <clears throat> so we will go ahead and take out this top floor with the Team Rocket members, and we will catch you back in just a moment. guys just finished off team rocket and what's this onyx did you join the team rocket group thought you were back with well, well i guess you're not with brock anymore maybe this is a, a different storyline where brock gets rid of his onyx and onyx goes to join the team rocket crew well we took him down anyways and now we are saving mr fuji similar to the mount fuji but this is Mr. Fuji, and we will receive the Pokemon Flute. Now we'll go back and heal up our guys and call it done for this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear back what you guys got and any feedback as to what I can do better or any of that as well. I do not dislike the helpful comments.